Today it is the Martins Lane Winery 2020 DeHart Vineyard Pinot Noir. And if you've never heard of Martins Lane Winery, they are a gravity flow winery in British Columbia devoted to Pinot Noir and Riesling. Seems an odd combination, but they do things differently there in British Columbia. Now DeHart Vineyard is the furthest vineyard from the lake for Martins Lane. The soil composition is silt and gravel, and this wine is made from a variety of clones that were harvested at different times, different dates, so that they get different elements within the wine. It is co-fermented 777 and 667 clones, of which 60 to 65 percent is whole cluster, and then aged in extra fine grain Austrian and French oak for 17 months bottled, unfined, unfiltered, so it will throw some sediment if you let it age. It's great Pinot Noir, so let's dive into the glass and I'll tell you why. Here I find the nose floral and earthy. While the, pla pa while the palate has plenty of acidity, so much so I could barely talk. Tannins are a little grippy here, but it has got great texture, needs a few years in the cellar. It's lovely, it's elegant. I could drink this a lot. And that is the Martin's Lane 2020 to Heart Vineyard Pinot Noir, and I give it four plus stars out of five. I'm Michael Pincus, the grape guy, for MichaelPincusWineReview.com. Join me again next week when we'll look at another great bottle of Canadian wine. You've been watching the Ontario Wine Review with the grape guy, Michael Pincus. Each week I review a great wine from an unlikely place, Ontario, Canada. Visit my website, michaelpincuswinereview.com to see all the wine-related content, sign up for the newsletter, and now you can become a supporter through patreon.com slash michaelpincus and pick up some great swag along the way. That's patreon.com slash michaelpincus. Thanks for watching and see you next week.